Welcome students, welcome to our class. We are on the obstetric lecture series. I hope you have seen the previous gynecology lectures and the first part of our discussion in obstetrics which was about the placenta variations and about the signs in early pregnancy uh, and about the physiological changes which take place during pregnancy. Now, one of the most important topic in your almost whole of OBGY because lots of recent advances, lots of MCQs are going to come on this topic. It's a very, very interesting topic. All this is not routinely taught to you at MBBS level. So, these are lots of new things which you are going to learn and this is the topic of antenatal detection of trisomy, specifically trisomy 21. So, we can call it as antenatal detection of Down syndrome. All of us know that trisomy, trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. Okay. Okay, so and why we require to do all this, we will discuss in a minute. But first of all, the weightage and the importance. So at any entrance examination level, at any entrance examination, All India, NEET, NEXT, INICT, 1 to 2 MCQs, 1 minimum, 1 to 2 MCQs could also be coming from this topic. So it's a must know topic. Lots of recent advances are there. We'll be teaching you everything. Basically, here is going to get all the screening tests, double marker, triple marker, quadruple marker, all the amnio, CVS, everything and ultrasonography for Down syndrome. So, lots of things to discuss. It's a very, very important lecture. It's a, a must-know topic. Finally, a student, of course, a short note uh, could be asked to you on these topics or in the VIVA. This, If you answer all this in your final year uh, VIVA, this is surely a gold medal you can get if you uh, master this video and answer all these questions in your uh, final year examination. Okay, so with this as the background, let's go on. First of all, yes, so you know the weightage, you know the importance and let's uh, uh, begin the discussion. So now, today we want to have a baby or a patient wants to have a baby, but we want a healthy baby. Okay, we don't want a baby or we, by we, we mean the patient. The patient does not want a chromosomally defective baby. Because you know all the complications in Down syndrome when they become bigger, mental retardation, lots of other complications and all that. Okay, so while the mother is pregnant, while the mother is pregnant, can we do something to tell her that okay, the baby is normal or the baby is having Down syndrome? That is in crux the whole chapter that what are the tests available to me today? Whereby antenatally, that means during pregnancy, while the mother is pregnant, during pregnancy, can we detect trisomy 21 Down syndrome and other chromosomal anomalies in the baby also. Okay, so that is in nutshell about the meaning of the topic. Now, so when we come to antenatal detection, is a very, very important uh, master chart. And we will keep coming back to this chart and we will be filling up this chart. Okay. So now when we look at antenatal detection, okay. Okay. When we look at antenatal detection, two things. One is the screening test. One are the set of screening tests. How to do the test, when to do the test, what are all the tests, that is lots of discussion. And certain tests are called as confirmatory tests. Okay, so okay, so for which patients do we do screening tests? What are the various screening tests? When do I go for confirmatory tests? How are those confirmatory tests is the whole crux of this lecture. Okay, so we will be keeping coming back to this slide and filling up as and when we teach you. Now, anybody, the screening test, just a basic thing, the screening tests are simple tests, easy tests, easy to perform. Confirmatory tests are slightly invasive. So, all patients, we may not do the confirmatory test. When specifically we go for confirmatory test, I will tell you. But screening test, as all of you know, screening is for general population in PSM or screening. So, all patients today, today, ideally, when the facility and testing facilities are available and cost is not an issue, all patients should undergo screening test for trisomy 21 detection, antenatal detection for trisomy 21. Okay, right in trisomy 21. 
Okay, is it clear to all of you? Yes. So, screening test is for everybody. Confirmatory test is for high risk population. What do I mean, what do I mean by high risk population? We'll tell you in some time. Now, in the screening test, anybody, if I ask you, the test all of you should be aware or should be triple marker test. Okay. Now, the first question when I ask the students about how is the triple marker test performed? Any idea? The test name is, suppose I'm telling you triple marker test. How do I do it? Amnio, CVS, okay. Any idea? So, this is a very basic MCQ, TM, okay. Triple marker test. How is it done? Is I do it with amniocentesis? Do I do chorionic villus sampling? Do I do fetal blood? Do I do maternal blood? What is the sample? How to, how do I, what is triple marker test? All this I will tell you in a minute. But what is the sample? For doing the triple marker test. Majority of the time, whenever I ask this question to all the students, the first answer I get is amnio CVS, completely wrong. Amnio CVS are invasive testing. I have to poke in a needle inside the uterus. When to do which, all that we'll discuss. And then I get a sample for what all that also we'll discuss. Okay, similarly, fetal blood is all invasive. Triple marker test is a simple test done on maternal blood. While the mother is pregnant, on the maternal blood or maternal serum, is this testing done? Is this understood to all of you? So, triple marker test is a simple test which is done on mother's blood. Is this understood to all of you? So, I come that so the screening test can be done on maternal serum. Okay, so these are all the blood tests. What are the tests? I will tell you in some time. So, on maternal serum, the blood test can be done. And there are the tests. Which are the tests? Okay, screening test also one more way is there. So, we will keep, as I said, we will keep coming back to it. And we will discuss all this. Okay. So, Anybody, the first screening test which all of you should know is the triple marker test. Now, anybody, when I say triple marker test, TMT, triple marker test, everything we should know. When is that? So, you know maternal serum is a sample for this testing. Very good. When is the testing? When, at what weeks of gestation? One more MCQ. Sure, triple marker. Because everything in pregnancy, weeks is very important. You can't do anything anytime. Everything has to be done at a particular time. Okay. So, when is the triple marker test done? Any idea? 16 weeks, 18 weeks, 24 weeks, 12 weeks. Okay. So, triple marker test is done in the second trimester. In the second trimester at around 16 to 18 weeks of pregnancy. When the mother is 16 to 18 weeks pregnant, at that time, we do the triple marker test. Now, since the three come, anybody, what are the components of the triple marker test? HCG, alpha fetoprotein, AFP, and unconjugated estriol. Now, please pay attention. The most popular mistake, the most common mistake, students mark it as estradiol. No, it is not estradiol. Estradiol is E2. So, all of us will write it down, not, and see, in spite of writing this down, when I will take the MCQ paper, many of the students will still mark estradiol, okay, not E2, not estradiol, it is estriol, E-S-T-R-I-O-L, okay, is it, is it clear? So, what is a triple marker test? It is a simple test, mother's blood is taken when she is around 16 to 18 weeks, and the most important word for all of you, this is a screening test. Triple marker test, as I already told you, it is a screening test. What is the meaning of the screening test is, that screening test will only tell you that the chance of the patient having Down's baby or trisomy 21 is very low or very high. That's it. It is not a confirmatory testing. I'll also tell you the interpretation of results and how to you interpret. That's a PG level stuff. 
and that you will remember me when you become a gynecologist when you will see all these reports when the patient will come to you with the report doctor this is my triple marker test so you have to say okay is it normal or abnormal okay so now can anybody tell me so so many mcqs question number one is a screening test question number two when is it performed question number three what are the three components and the next question okay so i repeat the components are hcg alpha fetoprotein unconjugated estria and the next thing is if the baby has down syndrome suppose the baby has down syndrome what will be high what will be low okay now please understand this this high and low values nobody is we don't remember the values okay that even i don't know every laboratory has its got own set of values we have to see that as per that weeks of gestation at 14 for example we am doing the blood test at 16 weeks so if hcg whatever it should be usse zyada hai alpha fetoprotein estrol usse kam hai is lesser then there's a problem so my question to all of you is what is the triple marker test result if the baby is having down syndrome okay yes please understand this hcg arrow up hcg arrow up other two arrow down okay so please keep this in mind what does this mean is that suppose the hcg is higher than normal alpha fetoprotein and unconjugate estriol are lesser than normal then there is a high risk that the baby may be having down syndrome so i repeat these are all the tests this is a test which is done on maternal blood this is a test which is done on the maternal blood maternal serum it's a screening test okay by screening test i mean i do it for everybody okay whatever whether the patient is 25 it's like a patient comes to you and says doctor i am 26 weeks i am i am a 27 year old girl lady i am pregnant tell me what is my chance of having a down syndrome baby do a triple marker quadruple marker we'll discuss okay 